Hey guys, welcome back. So I have Friday favorites and fooies for you today. I've got a lot of things I've really been loving this week and I do have one fooie, something I was not so happy with. So yeah, I've got a lot of things to share with you, so let's just get started. Okay, starting with nails this week. Um, first I was wearing something I wasn't so pleased with, so that will come in a moment. But uh, the thing I am wearing now, it's like this duochromy green, purpley blue kind of nail. Don't look at my arm, I've been swatching lipstick, and I pick at my fingers, so don't look at that either, but the color is really beautiful. I love the duochrome look to it. Um, this is a Julep polish. This is an Angela, and I do like the Julep polishes. I am signed up for their monthly subscription, but pretty much every month I can remember, I skip it. So this one I think was one that I forgot to skip and it just came to me anyway. But I do really like it. I mean, when you look in the bottle, you can see the green, you can see the purple and blue flash to it. So it's really beautiful. Um, I just put it on the other night, so last night actually, so I'm not sure about the wear, but I love the color, so it's beautiful. Now my other one, not so happy with. So that'll be coming up in a moment. Okay, and then for blush this week, I have been loving almost every single day, except for today. Don't you love how that happens? I've been loving the Balm Frat Boy blush. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. I'd always heard everybody talk about the, the Balm blushes, the Balm, the Balm, the Balm, blah, 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 blah. And then I finally made an order with Oat Look, Oat Look, and they really are amazing. Um, the blush has been the, the item that I'm most impressed with, with that brand. So I have a haul video, so you can go watch that. I'll link it below. But I love this color. It's a beautiful, like, pinky, like, corally pink. Um, it just looks beautiful on the cheeks and blends really nicely. Love that. I've been wearing it almost every single day this week. Today I'm wearing um, Tarte Exposed. So that's what I've got on today. Okay, and then for my eyes this week, I have been all about dark eyes. Was I into that last week? I don't remember. I go in phases and it's not like week to week, you know, sometimes it spills over into the next week. So first off, I'm still using my Too Faced Pretty Rebel palette. So just going to tell you, I mean, I'm the kind of girl, like I'm not going to go into this because I've talked about it so many times it's redundant, but, um, and I've got a million videos on it. If you're new to my channel, I've got a review, I've got a tutorial, same video. I talked about it in Friday Favorites. I love this palette, but I'm the kind of girl that if I invest in a palette, I'm gonna really enjoy it. And I take out a lot of old things that are limited edition. So if I buy a palette, I really, really enjoy it. So I'm still loving this. Yeah, so that may pop up numerous times. But also I've been using my Urban Decay Smoked Palette. This is beautiful. Um, it's got so many pretty dark colors. But I think this palette is great because it still gives you, still give you, it still give you, mm-hmm. It still, <laughs> oh my. It still gives you a great like blending color. It could maybe be a smidgen darker, but I mean it works. And then this is a great brow bone highlight. Oh, doo doo. I just took a gouge out of my asphalt. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But anyway, um, you have a good blending color, you have a good brow bone color. These two are great for, you know, darkening up and deepening up the look. These are already pretty dark, so I mean, you know, it's not like you need to deepen up a lot more. Like right now I just have the green one and then another color, which I realize my makeup look is a little crazy. I wasn't wearing this lip earlier, but you know what I mean? You just gotta go with it. Sometimes it's like, I'm gonna go with dark eyes and dark lips, whatever. But I like that these are kind of your like, finish the palette off and you can make a completed look. And then these are all your fun colors. Bar List is beautiful. I wore a look with that. That one's gorgeous. Today I'm wearing Loaded. It's beautiful. I have a Get Ready With Me coming up with a look that I use with this and one other shadow that I'm about to talk about. So that'll be coming up pretty soon. Like I said, I've got so many videos coming. I've got too many, so it, it's coming at some point. And then I've been wearing um, my Sephora Outrageous Prismachrome eyeshadow in Outrageous, Outrageous Metallic Beige. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I just got this last week um, and I was like, no, I don't need it. Look at that. 
And then I heard everybody keep talking about it. I already had um, taupe and, what's it called? Taupe and gray and lilac. And so then I bought beige and bronze. So what I've been doing is I do like a, like a dark color and then right in the center of my lid, I apply this. Oh, I love it. You can apply this wet. I think you can, I've been doing it. Oops, if you can't, <laughs> I think you can. Um, but it just makes this awesome metallic looking eye. It just gives so much more dimension to the look. And like I said, I'll have a get ready with me coming up where you can kind of see how I was doing that. And I always post Instagram pictures or I try to almost every day, so you can check that. So yeah, I've been loving those looks this week. Dark eyes with that kind of metallic-y look right in the center of the lid, love it. Okay, and then for lips this week, I have been all about, not all about, a couple of days. If I say I'm all about something in a seven day period, then it means I probably wore it twice or three times. You know what I mean? Because when you have a lot of makeup, you, you play a lot. You get creative. So anyway, I've been all about, for a couple of days, purpley pink lips. So I love the NYX lip liner in Purple Rain. This is beautiful. MAC came out with a new collection, which I am wearing, I'll tell you in a second, I am wearing one from the collection, but this lip liner reminds me a lot of, I think it's like Fashion Boost, might be the name, I can't remember, it's like a purpley color that just, I think it just came out, I don't think it's permanent, but it was on the display with the collection. So I think this is awesome, and these lip liners are great, and they're like two, three, four dollars, something like that, so I've been wearing that. And then around the outside of my lips, I've been wearing Violet Intrigue. This is from the Maybelline Fall Collection, and it's this really pretty darn dark, pretty darn dark purple. But what I do is I apply that on the outside just a little bit, and then I either put in the middle the Maybelline Fuchsia Fierce, which is also from the Fall Collection. So I either did that, Either that one in kind of the middle part, or I used my L'Oreal Lac in Lacquerized. Yeah, Lacquerized. Um, and I liked either of those looks. Really, I, I think I prefer Lacquerized, because it made more of a like bright, funky, 80s looking purple lip. So I loved that. I think I posted a picture on Instagram, but I don't think it, the color turned out very well on the Instagram picture. So, but I love that combination. Violet Intrigue, NYX Purple Rain, yes, and L'Oreal Lilac Lacquerized. And I have a whole video on these two with swatches. So I thought it was gorgeous. I loved that lip this week. Yeah. Today I'm wearing the MAC um, New Collection. I think it's, I think these are all gonna be permanent, I think. This one's in Flat Out Fabulous. This is their Retro Matte collection that just came out. I am, oh, I am stinking obsessed. Yeah, right there. Stinking obsessed with this collection. Oh my gosh, I love, I love matte lips. Um, now Ruby Woo, I was comparing it to another one. That one is like a whole nother level of dry and matte. But a couple of these, like this one's not uncomfortably matte. And the thing I like about matte lips is that they Candy Johnson actually said this, which I was like, that is so true, is that you don't have to worry as much about it getting all of your teeth and going everywhere just because it's more stuck on there. I mean, yeah, it feels drier, but with when I have like these, I love the lilac, but I feel very um, self-conscious of my teeth when I'm wearing them. Like, I feel like it's all over the place. So like smiling and I've got gunk all over my teeth, you know what I mean? Whereas mattes, you don't have to worry about that as much. So if you like raspberry, it's less purpley, but kind of like pinky raspberry with a little bit of purple in it, I love this lipstick. I, I would say, yeah, you need to go get you some of this. Flat out fabulous. That was an 11th gorgeous line, not to steal their line, but you need to go get one of these things because I think it's gorgeous, so pretty. I'm planning on having this in a haul or some kind of a little like MAC Urban Decay haul thing coming up at some point, so be watching for that. Okay, and then on to my Fooey. It was this Maybelline Color Show. This is one of the vintage leather um, collection nail polishes, and this one is in High Style Sienna, 
which I really liked the look of it. It was a cool look. I mean, it really looks like leather and a little bit like, I don't want to say like bubbly, but I didn't have to worry about getting my nails perfect because it doesn't look perfect. It's not supposed to. It's supposed to look kind of like leather on your nails. So I liked the look of it, but literally, literally, blah, 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 literally the next day it was already chipping like immediately. Now, granted, I'm always opening something like a lipstick or whatever, which by the way, why do companies do that? Like they come up with like this thing, you know, a package, a packaging that goes all the way down. At least they put the little perforated thing, but you still have to get it started, you know, and I always jack up my fingernails doing that. So a lot of times I enlist the help of the teeth to try to get it open, but I think that was the culprit that it just chipped my nails from opening something but this one was especially just like cruddy and didn't last worth a poo so i like the look of it but sorry vintage leather maybelline color show no yeah so those were all my friday favorites and foodies for this week um i really enjoyed a lot of the things that i've been playing with um please let me know do you have the urban decay smoked palette i would love to hear what kind of looks you put together with it um i think this is a great palette it's, it's definitely the one if I'm wanting something like funky and edgy and dark, this is the palette that I grab for. I think it's awesome. So please let me know what kind of looks you put together with it. Um, I'd love to hear. And if you don't have it, let me know what other kind of things you've been loving this week. Um, I'd love to hear you guys and your feedback and talk about makeup with you. So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Please subscribe if you're new. I'd love to have you to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!